They say 38 to 40% of people are gonna resign from their job in the next 12 months. So on today's vlog, we're gonna to speak to an expert. But before that, I got some information for you. So guys, just before we hit that vlog, I wanna tell you about this awesome company I discovered called BizPay. BizPay is a buy now, pay later for business. What's genius about this is let's just say, for argument's sake, you have a $4,000 job, yeah? Your client wants to pay you in installments, but as a business, you need that cash right now. What you can do is you can go to BizPay, take that invoice, they'll pay you within 24 hours, then your client has the ability to pay in four installments after that. It's brilliant. It enables you to go faster, it enables your client to go slower, right? And everybody wins. I think coming out of pandemic, this buy now, pay later business, BizPay, is going to be the angel for a lot of small, medium enterprises. And I personally, personally, couldn't give it more of an endorsement if I tried. Anyway guys, back to the vlog. Guys, I am so excited to be back. It's not even funny. And this lady here, Jessie, and I go back, I want to say to like 1993. You're making me feel really old. No, well, I mean, I feel old. It was ago. a long time ago, right? Yeah. I first met Jessie when I flew to Melbourne to compete in sports. And um, I stayed at Jessie's house because I was billeted with your brother, yeah. Brad. Shout out to Brad, he's in Canada? Canada, yep. Shout out to Brad Pizem. Guys, Jesse, um, HR gurus. Yep. Uh, welcome to the vlog. Thank you. It's been a minute since we've had these vlogs actually live. There's some content flowing through Facebook and Instagram and, and LinkedIn right now, but we shot that sort of like pre-lockdown four. <laughs> We're now out of lockdown six and we ain't turning back. But um, the reason why I wanted you to come on the vlog today was we're in a very, very interesting time. Um, we've gone from zero to zero for 24 months, and now we're going from zero to a thousand in like 30 seconds, yeah? Yeah. And so when you rip so quickly like that, um, you have a lot of problems. And people yeah. generally are- Problematic, because people problems. are people, right? Yeah, right. Uh, and there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of intricacies and complexities around people. But Jesse, what are you seeing in the market right now? Um, so we're seeing that the recruitment market is quite dry. Yeah. Um, not that many people or talented people are in the market yeah. looking for work. Um, and then what there's a lot of talk of is this great resignation that's been happening in the US. So they're expecting about 40% of workers yeah. to change jobs. In the next 12 months, right? Yeah, next six to 12. Six to 12 months, yeah. So I was on a PwC sort of uh, Zoom conference where they talk about the future of work. Um, and I participate in those every couple of weeks or every month. And they were talking 40%. 40% of people are going to resign in the next six to 12 months. So as an employer, what do I need to be doing? I mean, I know what I need to be doing, but what do they need to be doing? Well, we like to talk about defensive retention yep. because you want to keep your people and yeah, you want to yeah. keep them happy. Yep. You don't want to give them a reason to want to leave. Yep. So if you've been sitting at home for the last 18 months and you don't like how you're being treated, what a great time to leave yep. because it's now the candidates doing the interviewing and not the other way around. Yep. So as an employer, you need to treat your employees really well and make sure you get the best out of them, mm -hmm. but make sure that you're a, you're a place that they want to work. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, I make the comments, you know, we're in the real estate game, but we're actually not we're really in the people business. We foster community and grow and help people thrive. Um, but when I speak to landlords, the conversation has changed. The landlord used to be like, I'm the landlord. Uh, you know, it's uh, build it and they'll come. And now it's kind of like it's moved to the operator. And I think that that same fashion is changing. It's, it's no longer the employer, it's actually the employee. Yeah. Um, I think it's a fantastic, I think it's a fascinating time. It's a scary time. I think it's a fascinating time if you can sort of focus on the glass half full. Those people that are looking to resign, there's no greater time to start your own business. Yeah. True. Uh, on the flip side, 
if you're looking to resign, companies really have to step up their game in order to be the place that people want to work at. Yeah, so it's all about attraction. Yeah. So what, what's good about working at your place? Yeah. And the best way to do that is, you know, what are your employees saying about mm -hmm. working for you? Yep. Because they're the best testament to what it's like to work there, right? So my wife of 14 years last week. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. 19 years together, um, drilled me on day one. Two ears, one mouth. And so as an employer, maybe it's time to listen twice as much as we speak. The employee and your team should be sacred. They should be treated with the utmost respect because they're gonna look after your customer, right? And I totally agree with you. What do the employees want? Yep. So it's no good you sitting in your like glass office saying, this is what I think mm -hmm. will make them happy. Yeah. Talk to them yeah. and find out what they actually want. Um, it's not rocket science. Yeah. HR should be simple, right? Yeah. Go deep. HR gurus, all the details are in the description below or above, depending on where you're watching. Jesse, thank you. Thank nice you. to reconnect. It's great to see thank you. Thank you for getting out of your workout gear and coming to dress up here for, oh, this, for the vlog. It's great to be out of the active wear. I know, right? Thanks. All right, guys, thank you.